Uh. Knocking Aretha Franklin while I clean the car. Uh. Looking at Shorty in them yoga pants. Oh my lord. About to hit this day party, check the flyer. After I spray the black magic on the tires. Damn, I love the summer, of these sisters and sundresses. Oh, looking heavenly, I give thanks, it's such a blessing. The sun is shining, the birds chirping, the clouds fluffy, the weather's perfect, and the, the days get longer, outfits get shorter. Streets getting hot, pop the hydrant for the water. In the summer, throw the old kicks on the power line. summer, cop the fresh kicks, these are out of sight. summer. Watch the whip, then you know it's shower time. Summer. Hit the day party, it's a thousand dimes. Dreaming of the summer, cruising on the city. Yeah, I'm dreaming of the summer, dreaming of the summer. I got the AC pumping with the windows down halfway. Blowing that shit, Dave Chappelle stole in half big. Wintertime, spring, summertime, grind. For the mansion with the Hummer outside But my vision is bigger than the clothes in the car So my vision is different like Jordan LaForge Can't wait to sign the autographs when the fans run up So I'm making big plans for the summer uh. The days get longer, outfits get shorter Streets getting hot, pop the hydrant for the water In the summer, throw the old kicks on the power line In the summer, cop the fresh kicks, these are out of sight In the summer, watch the whip, then you know it's shower time summer Hit the day party, it's a thousand dimes Dreaming of the summer, cruising on the city Yeah, I'm dreaming of the summer, dreaming of the summer Brunch with the wife, he at the park, grown man shit Kiss her forehead, she say I'm so romantic Summer nights popping, we could paint the town any night Elbow out the window while I cruise under city lights Like Africans compared to Greeks, the gods rilla I rumble with the lions, arm wrestle with Godzilla it's rock stages, I'm dreaming of the summer If you think you're number one, trust me, I'm scheming on your number uh. The days get longer, outfits get shorter Streets getting hot, pop the hydrant for the water In the summer, throw the old kicks on the power line In the summer, cop the fresh kicks, these are out of sight In the summer, watch the whip, then you know it's shower time summer, hit the day party, it's a thousand dimes Dreaming of the summer, cruising on the city Yeah, I'm dreaming of the summer Dreaming of the summer Got me all up in the gym Trying to flex like Brutus The beefcake with free weights Acting foolish Since it's Sunday I'm doing preacher curls Hallelujah Gotta keep the physique right For the cuties Sip the lemonade Light the grill up Invite the whole family over Man, that's real love Kids running around Just on the grill P bought the cards Tick bought the beer In the summer Dreaming of the summer, lemonade and sunsets and hot for blue skies. The days get longer, outfits get shorter. Streets getting hot, pop the hydrant for the water. In the summer, throw the old kicks on the power line. In the summer, cop the fresh kicks, these are out of sight. In the summer, 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 summer. Uh. Knocking Aretha Franklin while I clean the car. Uh, Looking at Shorty in them yoga pants. Oh my lord. About to hit this day party, check the flyer. After I spray the black magic on the tires. Damn, I love the summer, these sisters and sundresses. Oh, looking heavenly, I give thanks, it's such a blessing. The sun is shining, the birds chirping, the clouds fluffy, the weather's perfect, and the summer. The days get longer, outfits get shorter. Streets getting hot, pop the hydrant for the water. In the summer, throw the old kicks on the power line. In the summer, cop the fresh kicks, these are out of sight. summer. Watch the whip, then you know it's shower time. Summer, hit the day party, it's a thousand dimes. Dreaming of the summer, cruising on the city. Yeah, I'm dreaming of the summer, dreaming of the summer. I got the AC pumping with the windows down halfway. Blowing that shit, Dave Chappelle stole in half big. Wintertime, spring, summertime, grind. For the mansion with the Hummer outside But my vision is bigger than the clothes in the car So my vision is different like Jordan LaForge Can't wait to sign the autographs when the fans run up So I'm making big plans for the summer uh. The days get longer, outfits get shorter Streets getting hot, pop the hydrant for the water In the summer, throw the old kicks on the power line In the summer, cop the fresh kicks, these are out of sight In the summer, watch the whip, then you know it's shower time summer Hit the day party, it's a thousand dimes Dreaming of the summer, cruising on the city Yeah, I'm dreaming of the summer, dreaming of the summer 
Brunch with the wifey at the park, grown man shit. Kiss her forehead, she say I'm so romantic. Summer nights poppin', we could paint the town any night. Elbow out the window while I cruise under city lights. Like Africans compared to Greeks, the gods riller. I rumble with the lions, arm wrestle with Godzilla. It's rock stages, I'm dreaming of the summer. If you think you're number one, trust me, I'm scheming on your number. Uh. The days get longer, outfits get shorter. Streets getting hot, pop the hydrant for the water. In the summer, throw the old kicks on the power line. In the summer, cop the fresh kicks, these are out of sight. In the summer, watch the whip, then you know it's shower time. In the summer, hit the day party, it's a thousand dimes. Dreaming of the summer, cruising on the city. Yeah, I'm dreaming of the summer. Dreaming of the summer, got me all up in the gym, trying to flex like Brutus. The beefcake with freeway tack and food. And since it's Sunday, I'm doing preacher curls. Hallelujah. Gotta keep the physique right for the cuties. What up, dude? Sip the lemonade. What up, what up? Light the grill up. Invite the whole family over, man. That's real love. Kids running around. Let's get this just thing started. P bought the cards, tick bought the big. That is rock stages, streaming of the summer. Thank you, my dog, for allowing me to use that for the intro. What up? We are doing a late night live. We have a lot going on in the market. Oh, my gosh. Let me make sure my sound is right. If you are in here, press 1. Let me know my sound and mic and everything sound right. So, I... Don't even know where to get started. I know y'all want to talk about Elon Musk and his tweeting ass, <laughs> but we're going to get that. We're going to get to that later. So the theme of tonight's show is, is this the end of Bitcoin? And also, I'm going to teach you guys how to record your losses. Linda, what do record your losses mean? That is something you definitely need to know and need to learn because once you start making big money with cryptocurrency or the stock market, you always want to find a way to avoid taxes or to be able to cover your own butt. So let's get this out the way. I am not a financial advisor. I am just a black brother here to give y'all some good game. Hope all is going, going well. So. First thing, how we're going to show you guys how to record your taxes. A few years ago, I recorded a webinar where a lot of people wanted to learn the stock market. They want to learn what was going on, how does it work, all the good type of things, right? And at the end, I talked about taxes a little bit. So I'm going to mirror my screen. So if you're in here, if you can't see the mirror of the screen, you know I'm new to the live, so... Please forgive me, but I'm going to mirror my screen and I'm going to play. It's only like two minutes going to play that for you guys. And I want to see this. So we're about to mute me and turn on the Mac. All right. So now we got the Mac sign. Can you guys hear that? Because I do not see. Okay, let me pause it. So, what I'm going to do, because the mic is not playing that part, so I'm just going to tell you exactly what is going on right here, yo. So, what's going on right here, I am talking about the different taxes. 
and the way taxes and tax laws and different things work. This was in 2019, but things are kind of still the same if you go to 2021. Let's say if you buy Apple and Apple go all the way down and you lose $10,000 in Apple, you're pissed. You're like, oh my gosh, Land, I lost $10,000 in Apple. There we go. And, but on a bright side, you invested in Tesla and you made $10,000 in Tesla. What you can do is record your losses. You can sell that Apple, show that you have lost money. Completely show, hey, you know, hey, you guys, I invested, I lost money. It's SOL. Let me flip the screen back over to me. Because you will get. So, so you, you can, can record, record that, that loss, and, and once you record it, you, you can, can use that during tax time and say, hey, I lost ten thousand dollars right here. Even though I gained money in Tesla, I still lost that ten grand. And that wave, it kind of wave the fee. So it cross cancels. So it show on paper that you made zero dollars. But what usually happened is people found out years ago that was like a a gray area. So people started doing it, but they had to prevent it because what people would do is just sell millions of dollars worth of stock record that loss and buy it back what they did was start a term called um watch sale it's called a watch sale so now the irs have it where if you sell this stock to record that loss you have to wait 30 days to rebuy it so warren buffett like two years ago when he sold all his airline stock and everybody like oh my god why did he sell american airline stocks and all that stuff he just sold it to record the loss then he bought like delta <laughs> because he just bought something similar that he knew that the price wasn't going to change too much. Let me see. Make sure you guys can still hear me. So they just made sure, you know, he got something similar. So then when the 30 days come back, you can go ahead and buy back. So with the market being down right now, I think it's down and it's going to get worse over the next two months. If you ask me in my opinion. Hey, she said, there's an echo. We do not want a echo. We do not want to hear that. We got to change the echo. Let's see. And this is what happens when you switch mics. Do you still hear the echo now? Let's change some of the sounding. Because we don't want it to be a bad echo. All right, let's, let's see, see if, if I watch it on my end. Do I hear an echo? Because that's, that's the worst thing. thing. We want to give, give you guys this good old knowledge, knowledge and we want to do that without interrupting, and you're not hearing no echo. She says, still there. So, we're about to go over to the plan B. There we go. Problem solved. Now do you hear the echo? That's what it was. I think I figured it out. The echo should be gone now. And we want to do that without interrupting. Let's make sure. The echo should be gone now. Better. There we go. All right. So, yeah, I had the Mac stuff still going on. So, basically... With the market being down right now, my advice is sell a lot of your profits. Like if you have made money, so if you have invested, in, let's say in Bitcoin, you invested in Bitcoin when it was around $22,000, right? Now it went up to 65000 and now right now it's at forty five. You made a lot of gains. You made a lot of money. That's good. You can record it. You can record that sale and you can have it on paper. But let's say a lot of people buy in high <laughs> and you know when you buy in high you see bitcoin is going up you're going up going up you don't want to 
lose out. They call it FOMO, fear of loss. You have some FOMO and you buy in right at the high of Bitcoin. And what happened? It crashes down. So let's say you lose some money with it. You can record that. So this is the perfect time with the market going down. I would definitely say record some of your losses because, you know, it's a smart thing to do. So we're going to talk about Elon Musk because Elon Musk has been doing some tweeting today and it caused all type of chaos in the market. It caused chaos <laughs> around the world. I really don't know if who's worse. Is it Trump or is it um, Elon? Because we knew Trump was going to be on Twitter and he was going to do the most. We knew that. But with Elon, we didn't expect him to do this and to affect the market as much as he been doing lately. But we're going to get to that in a second. So let's first see what the market is doing. So if we pull up some of my stocks. So here goes some of the stocks that I own. I like. Let's pull the screen record so you guys can see it. All right. Some of the stocks I own just got um, Coinbase. Keep on buying a dip on that. We got Target, we got Amazon, all of the good stuff. It is looking good right now. But I like to come on over to big news area. You see they talking about um <laughs> talking about Elon, right? So what I did in the web browser up here, five things, five signs investor investors are dangerously overconfident right now. They saying a lot of you guys are overconfident, and I guess I am included. I want to know why. They say with stocks on a tear, investors haven't been excited since the, about the market since the dot-com bubble. Maybe that's why you should be cautious. Do, do, skip through that, the result. So they're basically saying back in the day, they haven't seen this much excitement in the market in a long time, and they even talk about, you got the apps, you got Robin Hood, you got people been newer investors, then you got cryptocurrency, and the market been up. It's just been winning. So they like, you know, you guys or the new investors are not used to what's going on right now. And their main thing is they like to they hit on a lot of new investors like to buy high and sell low. Okay, so they talking about this. And should I get to the Elon Musk tweet? Let's let's go ahead. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into the Elon Musk tweet, yo. All right, so this will happen <laughs> today. This person tweeted Elon Musk today, and he said, and it's just a regular person, say Bitcoiners are going to slap themselves next quarter when they find out Tesla dumped the rest of their Bitcoin's holdings. With the amount of hate Elon Musk is getting, I wouldn't blame him. A little backstory: Tesla have invested, they recorded that they invested over $1.3 billion a few months into Bitcoin. So that was huge back in Bitcoin and all of that stuff. So random person tech um tweet this to Elon Musk, right? His dumbass gonna reply, indeed. What? What do this mean? You doing something like this? So he's basically saying, y'all sold y'all stock. If y'all haven't sold y'all stock, y'all going to sell y'all stock. And Elon Musk was like, eh, yeah, I don't. Once you do this, if you Google Elon Musk, it's all over the headlines. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. Let's, let's, go, to, let's go to Twitter. Let's see if I can pull up my, let's see if I can pull up my Twitter feed. Do, 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 do. Open Twitter. There we go. Go ahead. Open up Twitter. All right. And we're just going to search Elon Musk. And Elon Musk is trending. <laughs> Let's see. When Elon started crying about electricity bitcoin electricity usage let's see 
Musk implies Tesla may sell or have sold their holding. This is on Bloomberg. So all the top sites is talking about this. Forbes, Elon Musk crashed Bitcoin price and proposed a radical Dogecoin upgrade to be. So it's all over what he have done. So we're going to go and we're going to look at the market. So let me go back to you guys and make sure you can still see me. Let me go to some of the comments. Let's go to some of the comments. It's not the end of crypto. That's what we're going to talk about. Is it the end of crypto? I don't believe it is. I'm with you. I'm with you. No, it's not the end of crypto, if you ask me. But we're going to we're gonna get into that. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We're going to circle, circle back around, yo. So I want to show you guys the charts of what happened with crypto today, what's been going on. In the last week, right? Lawrence say he hate Elon. <laughs> Yo, if you got big money invested right now, everybody should hate Elon because he is controlling the market a lot more than we expected. Yo. All right. So. Say the con must. <laughs> I agree. Yo, I agree. All right. So let's actually let's go to Coinbase. I love me some Coinbase. The market is down 11%, basically 12% right now, y'all. Look at Bitcoin. Oh, shit, it just got worse. Bitcoin is at 43,000, down 8%. Let's, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is all in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin was at 49,000 today. 49,000 is down 6,000 and it's continuously going down. It was already looking bad, but with Elon Musk adding fuel to the fire, oh boy, Ethereum. Y'all know I've been heavy on Ethereum. My money is down. How much money did I lose today? Look like, what was the high? I don't know why is it not showing me the high. They must not want me to know. How much money I done lost? <laughs> there we go. 38000 looked like was the high. So it looked like I lost about well over $600. And that's just in one area. But, you know, you don't lose until you, until you pull out. Let's keep on going. So if we look at this, let's look at Dogecoin. You know, everybody loves Dogecoin. And people been going on Cardano. So I was talking to a friend earlier today. And she was talking about Cardano. And she just bought in. What she did, FOMO, fear of loss. She's seen it going up. Let's just click it. Seen it going up. You know, Cardano been popping. You know, look at this. Last month has been popping, doing all this stuff. And then you buy in and it started going down. That's why you got to have a plan when you guys do this. But let's go to Doge. Doge actually been holding on strong. Doge is doing the best, even though it's say 11%. But look at this. In the last week, Doge. Is actually holding on strong, and I think that is part of Elon Musk saying, hey, you know, screw Bitcoin, but we going to rock with Doge. <laughs> so Doge is actually doing a kind of decent right now. So let's go ahead, get the screen back, see what you guys are talking about. Yeah, it's bloody. It's definitely bloody. So we're going to get to what we're talking about of this youtube this live is at the end of bitcoin you've been seeing it's a lot of youtubes a lot of people saying oh since elon had tweeted this and said that bitcoin is going down no in my opinion cryptocurrency is not going anywhere it is here to stay for the long haul yes it is doing a correction right now a correction is when what it sound like it sounded like the market was going high. We're hitting all type of highs. We hit Bitcoin high, cryptocurrency high. And now it is correcting itself back down to regular price. You got to think Bitcoin in the last year, in the last 12 months, the lowest Bitcoin was somebody check it. I believe it was around $8,000. Bitcoin was $8,000 some, some point in the last year. It's up to 45000 <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's been winning. So it is okay. I remember when it hit the 22,000 and went all the way back down to 3,000. And we thought that was the end of cryptocurrency. No, it is not the end. Now, this is what I will tell you. There is about to be a paradigm shift. There's about to be a change with cryptocurrency. And I'm about to tell you why there's about to be a change because Bitcoin is not as attractive as it once was. Before Bitcoin was sexy, everybody wanted to get in. That was the main coin that we really knew about because it held the most weight. Bitcoin sex appeal have went down with all of these altcoins coming up. So let's be honest. The average person don't have enough money to own one Bitcoin. Let's just say right now. Right now, Bitcoin is at 45000 who is going to invest 45000 into Bitcoin? You have to not just be a millionaire millionaire making a, hundred, making a million. You probably need to be making over $5 million a year to even consider really investing in that. So if me and you, we got $100. We got 200 Fuck it. We got 1000 If we invest that 1000 in Bitcoin, uh, what's the odds of it going from 45000 to 90000 and doubling? It's not very likely. So if it does double, we make $1,000. But what are we seeing with all of these new coins that's coming? We're seeing somebody invest $1,000 into Dogecoin, $1,000 into Shiba, and $8,000 turned into $120,000. Their $1,000 turned to $15,000, which is more attractive when you look at your Shiba and it say you have 8 million coins. <laughs> Versus Bitcoin, and it say you have 0.002% of a coin, which is more attractive because now you know, hey, if I have 8 million of these coins, if I have 400,000, 300,000 of these, if it go to one cent, we laugh. We lit. Flawless victory. <laughs> oh, my God. They took my job. Let's kick it. Let's Let's be honest. Let's really kick it on this. So with that happening, I think Bitcoin is definitely losing its sex appeal and losing its steam because a lot of people is not going to want to jump to it. That's why you're seeing the Cardano is popping up, the Ethereum. Why is everybody doing NFTs and it is going off of Ethereum? Why didn't you choose to do it off of Bitcoin? There's a coin today that just popped off. I'm actually going to do a YouTube video probably on it tomorrow. It's going to be a quick five minutes, 10 minute YouTube. It's going to be quick. Yummy. Is any of y'all hip to yummy? I just invested right around $175 into them. Jake Paul mentioned them because remember, we keep on getting all these new coins. And Jake Paul, he mentioned it. Him and little Yachty, I guess they teamed up. And I'm like, okay, Jake Paul, his name is big. He's about to fly, fight. Floyd Mayweather, so he's popping right now, so whatever he say is kind of golden, so I'm like, all right, let me do some research into this, so Yummy, they have a dope ass concept, the concept is where whatever you invest, whatever transaction, and quote me if I'm wrong, because I'm probably butchering, I just learned about today, whatever transaction you do, it is a 3%, well, 3% of that go towards a charity, I just went to their Instagram. They just donated some money to a charity live. So since it is being incentivized, incentivized, whenever you do a transaction, whatever it is, some money go back to you, but mainly it's going to charities and they are doing big, giving a lot of money away. That is more appealing probably to the hip hop, to the celebrities where it's like, yo, let me invest in this coin because we know they are taking this money and they're giving it directly to the people who need it. Their goal is to end war hunger. So you can look at their white paper. I love it. And Jake Paul was like, yo, I told y'all about Doge a while ago and it exploded. I told you what, I, what I'm doing. Let me take y'all to this damn, um, I know, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I keep on, y'all, yeah, I definitely um, was thinking of that when I heard it. Actually, let me take y'all to Jake Paul Twitter. I don't even know. I don't even know why I'm doing all of this explaining. Let me. Take y'all to the damn Twitter. Let's go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Back. Jake. Paul. 
Got your hat. Hilarious, yo. Look at this. 11 hours ago, whoever's selling yummy, we laugh at you for pulling out early. Just buy the dip. No Fs given. I thought I thought I like I like salsa until I seen how yummy communities eat. Look, a year ago I talked about Doge before Elon went up. Three months ago I talked about Safe Safe Moon went up. Now I'm talking about yummy. He's saying, yo. I'm trying to tell y'all about it, and it looked like he teamed up with young Yachty, um, little Yachty. Just got off the phone with Jake Paul, and we going yummy to the moon. Let's go to um, little Yachty page. What is he talking about? Seven hours ago, yummy, still. What people saying in the comments? <laughs> so it's some stuff going. It is something going on. It is some stuff going on. Oh, Lord. All right. We ain't go. <laughs> We're not going to get all to that. Now, actually, I'm going to take y'all to yummy, um, yummy, what you call it? White paper. Let's see. Yummy coin. I give y'all a, see, since y'all on a live, y'all get to get the pre stuff before I do the YouTube tomorrow. I'm probably do this all again. Okay, Yummy Coin is on a moon mission to end world hunger. How to buy Yummy, I tell you that. So whenever you do, for my new people, whenever you look at cryptocurrency, you really want to look at their, um, what the hell you call it? Let's see, where is it? White paper. You want to look at their white paper. This is basically like their business plan. You know, what is your crypto plan? Welcome to Yummy Coin. Yummy Coin it's about an issue on the Binance Smart. Our mission is to end world hunger. Each time Yummy Yummy Coin is traded, a charity is receiving donations. Yummy is set out to transform the crypto industry by industry by giving back while creating a coin that benefits charities and its holders. Yummy is a community driven fair launch token. Yummy shareholders um, value share blah blah blah. They value the end world hunger, yo. So I want you to do some research and look at this. So they break down what they do with every transaction, how they take nine cents, nine percent, and they do charity, reflection, acquisition. I actually love it, yo. I'm like, shit, what is two hundred dollars to invest in it? Low investment, high return. It's not easy to invest in it. In a YouTube, I will tell you guys how to do it tomorrow. It's not easy. But this is something that um I think we need to look into if we're trying to make money, we're trying to invest. Why are we not looking at all of the options? Why are we not looking at all the options? So have y'all heard about that? So that is what's going on with crypto in the market. It is not the end of Bitcoin, but and let's talk about the market. I think the market. Honest opinion. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a black brother giving y'all some game. Honest opinion, it's about to go, it's about to bleed slowly. It's going to be a slow bleed for the next two months. So this week coming up, so we got five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm saying two of these days, we're going to get some green days. We're going to get green days, two days. The other three, it's going to be a slow bleed. Bruh. <laughs> it's going to be a slow bleed. I think the market is just going to keep on going down, pop up a little bit more, go down, pop up a little bit more, go down. And I think it's going to do that for a while because if crypto is this bloody and going down, Bitcoin is kind of a reflection of the S&P. You look at what the S&P doing, Bitcoin is kind of correlating with it. And with that going down, they say the the Dow futures is up right now. So they saying it might be green tomorrow, but I have no faith in my advice. Well, my opinion, not advice, is to not not be scared and not pull out unless unless you do what I told you guys earlier. For the people that's coming in late, I talked about how you can cut your profits. How you can record your losses. Unless you're doing that, 
roll with it. Leave your money in because whenever you invest in a company, any stock market, any company, I am pro Warren Buffett. I'm team Warren Buffett, everything. Anything I put my money in, especially in the stock market, I believe they, that company will be here 20 years from now. So I'm okay with the dip going down for a day or two, a week, a month, two months, a year. That is okay because if you believe in the company that you're investing in, you're going to keep on putting money in it because you know they're going to ride. You know it's going to come back up. But what usually happens is y'all will listen to somebody on the internet, quote unquote, like I just gave you some game on Yummy. But I took you to the website, do some of your own research on some of these companies. But it's different with crypto because I'm willing to put $200 and lose that if you lose that. It's low, it's low investment, high return. But when I'm investing in Target, when I'm investing in Walmart, Apple, it only makes sense. I'm willing to to roll with them. So you got to have a financial game plan. If y'all want, if y'all want me to go over a game plan, if the market go down, leave it in the comment. Cause I don't want to go in straight teaching mode. If y'all don't want me to like Lauren just said, Lauren just said, we seen worse. We have seen the worst. We seen the market, like the market is on an all time high and it's just correcting. Yes, we have seen worse. And now people can trade options and do they puts and do the exact opposite. So you can still make money with the market going down. I don't invest in, I'm, I'm not an option trader. I like it. It's not for me. I'm going to probably get into it sooner or later, but there's ways you can still make money. So let's talk about a little bit of a strategy. What I would do, where is my pen? Because I like to write when I when I break down and give you my strategy. I see I need to. Where the hell is my damn pen? Never mind. So I'm gonna still give y'all. So like let's say, for example, if Bitcoin, and I'm about to I'm about to tell you guys my strategy, and I will actually show you. I'm gonna show you with Bitcoin, and I will show you with a stock of how I would do it. Let's switch this back on over. All right, this is what is this? This coin market cap. This is a different. This is a different website to show you like the volume, what's going on, who's everybody viewing and looking for the most. But we're going to still go back over to Coinbase, and we're going to first start with Bitcoin. Damn. While we're live, it's going down, yo. This is live. Look at this. Since we've been on here, what, we just got on live, right? Like right here? We down $1,000. It is going down live. Jeez. All right, so this is, now look at this, y'all. In the last year, what I tell you guys before, I said 8,000. Let's see how good I am. Come on, go to eight, go to eight. eight. Let's go. I told y'all it was down to 8,000. What is this? A year ago? A year goes down to 8,000. Look at that. A 300% increase. So the money is still being made. And y'all notice this. Look, go up, go down, go up, go down. But it continuously to go up. But right here is looking real. If it get to this, if it get to probably like 45 was, I ain't even going, I ain't even going to go nerd on y'all, you know, because when people read charts, if you go to 40, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get real bad. But this will be my game plan. If I was investing it in Bitcoin, Bitcoin, since it's bigger money, every $5,000 it go down, I will invest in. At 45000 I would have put some money into it. I'm not adding any more money unless it go to 40000 Once it hit 40000 that's when I'm investing again. Then my next goal is 35000 I'm investing again, but the difference is if it goes back up 5,000, I'm still investing in it. So if it went back up to 45, I'm investing. If it go down to 40, I'm investing. You want to balance out your average. Let's go to the stocks. Let's go stock market. Open stocks. So. This is exact, I'm like what I'm teaching you guys. This is what I do. This is what I'm doing with Coinbase right now. I give you a real life example. So Coinbase opened up high as hell. 
and I had a feeling that they was going to go down, so I didn't buy initially as soon as they opened up. I probably bought right here. Well, I probably bought, I bought under, under 300. So, once I bought under 300, I'm like, okay, boom. Once it go to 285, I'm going to buy again. Went 285, boom. Once it go to 280, I'm buying again. Once it go to 270, I'm buying again. And I kept on doing that. You need to know how to do that with all of these companies because if we go to Target, all of these is going to continuously to go back up. But we don't know what the bottom is going to be. We don't know if everything was perfect. You would invest it right here. You would invest it right here, here, here. We're not perfect, so we don't know. So you literally have to just keep on as it going down. You got to throw some little bit of money into it. Let's talk about it. Let's see if y'all have any questions about what I'm talking about. Do does that make sense? Is it is it weird what I'm saying? Let me know if it make any sense of what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to the comments. We see Lauren say, but um, Bitcoin Classic has limited supply. Um, so like I said last time, it's a fake out by the millionaires. It's definitely probably a fake out by the millionaires because millionaires are mad. You can control the stock market a little bit more. It's hard to stop to um. It's hard to control crypto, but when you have the big sharks, they can do it a little bit. Next, we have Stephanie. What's up, Stephanie? Or Stefan? My bad. I'm sorry to butcher your name. Nah, bro. We need all. The X's and O's put me in coach, my dog. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm had no problem with teach, teaching anybody as long as people willing to learn a game. Stefan say, truth be told, I don't understand none of this shit on how people is getting so much big bags, but I'm hoping to get to it soon. Stefan, my advice to get the bag. So my YouTube channel is evolve around showing people how to make money. First thing. The second thing is how to invest your money. And the third thing is how to save your money. So my thing, like my mindset is because I was buying up on Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. I was buying up on it and I was averaging out and I bought in on the high because my thing is I like Lauren. No, I'm like, yo, Ethereum going to 10K. I didn't want it to go to 10K yet. I wanted it to drop down so I can keep on putting money in because I'm going to make less money. Right. But. Once I start running out of money, I'm like, the hustler coming to me. I'm like, dude, okay. All bills paid so far for this month besides two more bills. Got to pay two more bills, and they like automatic payments. You got to pay DT and stuff. But I was like, if I go DoorDash and Uber Eat, if I take 50% of that money I make, I can put that back into crypto. <laughs> like, that's my mindset. I'm like, yo, so I went out today and did some Uber Eats. To go make some money to invest it in crypto. Because say, for example, if you go out to Uber Eat, say you go do DoorDash or Ship or whatever it is, you make a hundred dollars a day. And that's take home. After gas, you make a hundred dollars. You take 50 or 60 of it and you invest it in that yummy I didn't told you about. And like when I invested in Shiba, the next day I doubled, doubled my money. Like yeah, it went back down, but the next day. So you can do a few things to hustle and be able to make money. So that's a lot of people get money different ways, but you just get a hustle and throw a little bit in and everybody financial situation is different, but you would be cool. Ma say Europe and Africa are waking up and crapping themselves right now. <laughs> yeah, they definitely waking up because the time zone is different. But what I notice about cryptocurrency is crypto gets wild for some reason from 1 a.m. Through 4 a.m. On average, when shit get popping, like popping, it's usually right around those times. Oh, my God. They took my job. <laughs> you wake up with no damn job. Yo, I was looking. Yo, I was looking for the Florida Evans, the damn, damn, damn sound thing, but I couldn't find it in time. And then I was having, like, mic issues, and it was terrible. See, I got a different mic. I still got my, my Yeti. But it was um giving me too much extra feed. It was it was terrible, yo. Let's see. Buying on the low low end makes sense. Yeah, you definitely want to buy on the low end because 
that that FOMO, that fear of loss, it's natural. I done it. We all do it when and, and it's and the worst one I seen was the Cardano just recently with my friend. She if she's watching this, like she was like, Oh, Orlando, you know, I just put like a grand into um Cardano. Was it a good good investment? I'm like, what? Uh, <laughs> no, it was not a good investment. And the reason it was not a good investment is because you bought on the high. I would have put a hundred into it and just my luck. Once I invest in like situation like that, that shit just going to crash immediately. So I would have like did exactly what I said. Hey, if Cardano at 250, boom. I would invest some more if it go to 255. If it go down, like that's kind of how you, how you have to do it because what happened is when you put in high, say you put in high on Cardano at 250, right? $2.50 and that shit crashed down to a dollar. You are not going to make any money until it get back to 250. But if you if you average it out, what they call it dollar average cost or you average it out, then now you can be like, all right, if you're buying on a dip, buying on a dip, now you need it to be you at 175 to be able to make money. So you got to be able to do it. Makes sense. Seven, seven, loving them franchise videos. Yeah, appreciate it. Let me know which different franchise video because my plan now, because like the Chick fil A blew the hell up. That boy is at like 140,000 views. That is like crazy. When I tell you, like, I get. I'm about, I'm about to show y'all how crazy this stuff is, yo. So I got an app that shows you how many views you get on these videos. Now, I checked this app probably an hour ago. In the last hour, that Chick-fil-A video got 700. Can y'all see it? That is 759 views. <laughs> Since we've been on live. So yeah, that people love Chick-fil-A. So shout out to Chick-fil-A. I have nothing bad to say about Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, if y'all ever want to sponsor me, I will be everything. I eat chicken and shit all along here. And they say black people don't supposed to be eating chicken and all that. I'd be eating chicken and be all happy. Yeah. So I did 7 Eleven. And my goal now is once each of the franchise videos reach over a thousand views, I'm gonna drop another one. So the next one I'm thinking about is Chipotle. Every people been talking about Water Whataburger. I've been a Water Whataburger a lot of times. I like them, but you know, not that good. Some people said Starbucks. Starbucks would be a good one. I definitely like Chipotle. My wife said do a Chipotle versus um Qdoba's. She was like, "Yo, do a two in one, a Chipotle versus Qdoba's." Which y'all think about? Like, should I do a double or? How y'all think I should do the next franchise video? Let's see. People get to learn to zoom out. At least <laughs> at least a month. <laughs> Man, you know, people don't need to go, don't know how to go back a month, a year, or nothing. They go into a day. They like, yo, it's all green. Everybody making money. My cousin, he said, get in on Dogecoin. And I put in on Dogecoin. And y'all get in on Dogecoin at 70 cents. 70 cents. Where my, um. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! You didn't get in at seventy cents on Dogecoin, and you out here taking it. L, you over here waiting. Once it once it hits seventy cents, that's when you make on your money. So you out here crying. Ah oh, man, that Dogecoin. My thing is, I will invest in Dogecoin if it go under twenty cents. If it go under twenty cents, because people been giving me hell since I criticized Dogecoin, like. Why Dogecoin have like a fucking coat of people? Just because I criticize Dogecoin. People been in my mentions. I hate you. You stupid. People been in my inbox. Dogecoin people is crazy. And, you know, my belief is growing on Dogecoin, to be honest. Quiet as kept, my belief in Dogecoin is going up. Still ain't investing until it reach over. Thank you for sharing. Still not investing until it go under 20 cents. Because my thought process is Dogecoin is not gonna get it's not gonna go over a dollar three cents. Neuro analytics is gonna take a while to do it, but 
I say it's only going to go over dollar three cents. If it go over that, I'm going to apologize, going to do my YouTube. Hey, y'all's wrong. God invest some money into it. But if it's going to go to a dollar three cents, let's say I'm right. Let's just say I'm right, right? I hope the mic, I don't know why that shit's shaking. I'm probably because I'm messing with the table. Put my hands down here. So let's say, let me see, make sure y'all see. Do, 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 do. Hold on one second. All right, make sure y'all see me right. So let's say I'm right. Dogecoin is 50 cent right now, right? If it's going to go to $1, all I'm going to do is double my money. That's cool. But how much money would be worth it for me to double my $100, $200? That's irrelevant. Go to casino and try to do that. But if I would have to put like some big money, 5000 in there, but I don't believe in Dogecoin enough to invest that much money. So that's why I'm on the sidelines with Dogecoin, but I'm rooting for y'all. How much time would it take for the market to recover? What's up, A1? Hope all is well with you. Thanks for checking out the live, my dog. Like I told everybody earlier, I think about two months. I think it's going to be a slow bleed. I think it's going to go. This week is going to show you what it's going to do. Could be completely wrong. It could just get popping. But I doubt it. You're going to have an update, and it's going to go up just a little bit. Then it's going to go down even more. Then an update, then it's going to go down even more. Then it's going to go down then it's going to have a big old update. So it's going to be a bleed. So, like, if somebody poke you, give you a little stab, right? You're not about to die if somebody stab you. Somebody stab me right here in the arm. They, I ain't going to die. The shit going to hurt. And I'm going to bleed. And it's going to be a little drip. But if I don't take care of it, <laughs> we're going to have another issue going on. So I think for the next two months, we are going to have things going making the market go down because look at inflation inflation and interest rates inflation goes up and interest rates go up the market don't like that look at gas prices gas prices whooping our ass market don't like it let's see you say is one to four hours hot for all the coins or do they operate independently hopefully you know what i'm trying to ask I'm going to assume what you're trying to ask is do all the coins operate like on the same on the same chart or same wavelength or how to look at them. In my opinion, all, all coins, we just going to say they're different. You still have some that literally bounce off of, hey, if Ethereum do good, this one is going to do good. If Bitcoin do good, this one is going to do good. And they got some that bounce opposite. If Bitcoin go bad, this one going to go up. Look at Cardano. Cardano was operating on its own wavelength. Cardano was doing its own thing. <laughs> it wasn't worried about nobody else. So anything going down, Cardano was doing its own thing. So it really depends on the coin to see where everything goes up. Do a little Caesars. When you do pizza spots. So it would be dope to do Little Caesars because I'm from Detroit. And being from Detroit, that's where Little Caesars originated out here. So it's like the history of them. And I wonder, like, Little Caesars are kind of everywhere, but they're heavy out here. And actually, the first one ever is only like 15 minutes from where I'm at. The first one ever open. I think it's on Cherry Hill in the noise. I think that's the first one I ever opened. That would be a unique one because I love pizza. And you should always have some type of pizza franchise because a pizza franchise, it is low investment to make the pizza high return. You just need some dough. Yeah, you, you like the the ingredients is very cost efficient, but with pizza you have too much competition because if you open up a Little Caesars, right next door is going to be a Domino's. Then you're going to have a Papa John's. Then you're going to have a Tormino's. Then you're going to have a Uncle Joe's pizza. It's a lot. Then the, then the gas station is selling pizza. So if I was to ever invest into a pizza franchise, it will be a unique pizza that is different like a Blaze pizza. Blaze pizza is dope. The boxes are different. Little square boxes. It's unique. The pizza's good as all hell. Have y'all ever had Blaze pizza? 
was good, unique, different experience. And I think LeBron actually was one of the uh, early investors in Blaze and made some great money. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But yeah, I would definitely um, invest in this. For my people that's coming in late, earlier I talked about recording your losses. Recording your losses, just you have to rewind to go all the way in depth. And I wish I could show you guys now without messing up. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you guys. Because I think I completely butchered the shit last time. Let's see if I can figure this out. Because what I did while the mic was sounding crazy is because I had the Mac sound on plus this microphone. So let's see. Let's see if I can do it right. Oh, and what I'm showing y'all is I did a... I did a webinar a few years ago. It was actually only actually it's on Vimo. If you after this video, you can go in any of my other YouTubes. You can go into the comments and I have it recorded. So I recorded this webinar. I did live. It sold out. Shout out to Lauren. He was in there. He always support me. And I taught people the basics. A one on one, what apps to use, how to invest, how to basically get started. Great freaking turnout. So you can go. I still have it available for $20 on Vimo. You get to keep it for like a week or two weeks. But I'm just going to show you guys a clip of that when I was talking about the Texas. So let's see. Please tell me in the comments if the mic sound crazy if I do it wrong. Let's see. All right. Okay. So you guys can hear me. All right. So hopefully the screen is going to mirror. Can y'all hear it? Leave it in the comments if y'all can hear it. If not, I'm just going to do it like this. Can y'all hear it? Leave it in the comments. So let me look in the comments. Can y'all hear that at all? Let's see. Was y'all able to hear that? Was y'all able to hear it? So I just wanted to give you a snapshot, but for the people that came in late, what I did was talked about recording your losses. What Warren Buffett did a while ago, when the airline stocks went all the way down, he sold it and recorded his loss to show the IRS, hey, you guys, I just lost $2 billion. Woe is me. You get to use those losses towards your gains so he lost money over here to the right but he made money over here to the left and you get to cross cancel instead of only just recording your gains so that's what i'm telling people right now if you have made a lot of money already you've been doing good in the market i say why not why not record your losses or like if you made money but if you're losing money in a certain stock and you don't feel it's going to do good record that loss and also, remember, I'm not a tax advisor, not anything, just Black Brevin giving y'all some game. Short games, short capital games is when you own a stock and you sell it within that first year. Every stock you buy, you want to keep over a year. That's why I told you, don't mess around with just stuff people telling you about and you don't like it. If you keep it under a year. And I know a lot of people doing like little baby stuff, $100, $200 here. But our goal is to grow and start making big money. If you sell it under a year, they're going to tax you up to 37%. They're going to tax you on regular income. If you keep it over a year, it goes to like 15 or 20%. So you get to make a lot of money. 
got in a crypto a month ago, put 7K in an ET like two weeks ago, and it's over. I don't know what to do. Okay. This, that is a great, that's some great game. Great game to give you. I also just invested some, some thousands into Ethereum. So me and you just did the exact same thing. I didn't invest all of it at one time, but now you're wondering, what do I do since I just invested this money? If you don't mind me asking, what at what price did you at what price did you um buy in at? Because let's let's say worst case, let's say you bought in at the high. If you bought in at the high, can you hear me? There we go. If you bought in at the high, what I would do, do you have extra money? <laughs> if you have extra money, I would keep on buying a dip. Today would have been a great day where I would keep on buying because if you bought in, you couldn't buy in really no higher than, let's just say you bought in at four grand. It's not too far from four grand. What was it at? 3,200? Yeah. But you got to, we, Ethereum is going to go, it's going to keep on going up. Keep on buying into Ethereum. But in the meantime, let's try to get on these come ups. These companies, I talked about Yummy, Shiba, invest a few hundred dollars into some of these small companies because it's low investment, high return. One of these blow up. You know, at least you got something else you can look at instead of just Ethereum and also look into um, NFTs. I actually got my first NFT hotshot pack and that was amazing. I actually show you guys. Actually, I got to show you a video too. I um, started my OnlyFans page recently <laughs> and it's not what you guys think it is. It's an OnlyFans to help people out with investing and giving y'all a game because, you know, on YouTube, you get the game for free. I tell people what's going on YouTube, on Facebook, in our investment Facebook group. But there's certain stuff I do whenever I buy and sell. I'm not about to do a whole YouTube for that. On the OnlyFans, I did the lowest membership they allow me to do is $4.99. You get access to all the stuff I'm doing on a daily. Why did I buy this 175 in a yummy? Why did I keep on buying into Shiba even though it was going down? Y'all get that type of access. So, um, so I hope not. So, now let's look at, I'm about to show you, I get y'all exclusive. I actually got this on my OnlyFans. Let's see if I can pull it up. So, I bought an NFT with NBA Top Shot. Now, if you guys ain't hip to NFT, go back and watch my video, but it's basically like digital art. And since I'm new to it and I wanted to get in the game, I wanted to go with something I'm familiar with. I'm familiar with... I like this in the shot a little bit. I'm from I'm familiar with NBA basketball. So I'm like, all right, let me do some NBA stuff. What they allow you to do is collect highlights. Just like just like cars, yo. So they had like a raffle or something going on, and I made it in and I was able to spend nine dollars and I get a pack. And this is what was inside the pack. I'm about to show you guys. Y'all can see it. I ain't even gonna screen record. Come on. Show you guys what's inside the pack. This is how I look. So, I got three different players. Can't see the screen, so I can't see exactly which player is that. But it's just like literally a little highlight. Then you get the next player, and you get the next player. Okay, y'all can see it a little bit good. Now, with these highlights, I, the third one I got was good because it was, I forget which player it was, but it was a low number card. So say you got one of these highlights, right? we just say LeBron James doing, or we do perfect example. Tonight, Steph Curry, he just hit a shot to be, the all time the scoring leader for this year. So this year, Steph Curry is going to be the NBA scoring leader. What they would do is create a highlight of that shot he did because it is a big time moment in his career. And they will say, We'll give you a that we're going to make a thousand of these. 
and they're all going to start at a thousand dollars, a hundred dollars, or whatever it is. The lowest number of that NBA top shot is going to go to highest because it's the first edition number one versus number a thousand. It don't hold its value. And in that nine dollar pack, I actually got a low number card, and I seen it was going for like right around uh, estimated probably about seventy dollars. So in that pack, I got something that I can sell. You can resell it to other people. Right or not, right about now, the market is for $70, and they have, like, a game kind of going, like, all right, if you get this one and this one and this one, you get the whole pack of it, it's more valuable. So some people actually need some lower-value cards to complete their pack. I hope that don't sound too weird and too nerdy, but that's how NFTs go, and I posted that on my OnlyFans to give you guys game. Um, I need to have a radio voice. Sign up for my OnlyFans late night. <laughs> oh, no! Hope all is well. We're about to end this. We're about to, we're about to end this thing briefly. We're about to let you guys go to sleep. Let me watch a movie. Do y'all have any questions? Gotta catch them all like Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Do y'all have any questions before we leave the goal is for me tomorrow to leave that um to make that that yummy video definitely want to drop that yummy video giving some game on how to buy in on that we can keep it short and simple want to do that tomorrow and i want to look at the market i can't wait to wake up and see how it's going and say the futures it says going to it look good look green so keep an eye on crypto let's see what let's see what is on right now Definitely keep an eye on crypto because this is, this is bad, y'all. This is bad. Let's see. Ethereum down 32. Shiba is down 15. Let's see. Cardano down 213. Dogecoin 48 cents. Yeah, it's, um, it's going down slow. Slow bleed. Slow bleed. Dude, Earth motherland. Do I do what up though, Preston? Preston in the building. Do I do 4X? No, I do not do 4X. I know a lot of people that do 4X and they are very, very, very successful in it. And I know some people have failed in it. And since I have been in network marketing for well over like a lot of years, I'm hip to the game. So with 4X, I have nothing against it because I know people that's actually making money. But me being on the outside in, number one, to succeed in Forex, you need a little bit of money because if you got $100 in the market and you're trying, you're going to have trials and errors and you're going to make some mistakes. So you're going to need some money to be able to learn the market and be able to test the market and when you're doing all your trades. So number one, you're going to need some money. Number two, you have to be very coachable and you're going to need the right team, the right team that can help you out. Because since it is such a unique industry, you need to get coached and learn the game on how to work it. It's going to be time consuming, but you can trade the market at any time. So it's definitely ways people just making crazy money with Forex because it go down, go up. So I didn't get involved into it because I've been with Legal Shield since I was 21. And that's, I made so much money with them doing network marketing. I don't feel I need to do 4X, but I'm rooting for the people that is doing it, and I just regular, just do the regular stock market. But never know. One day I might do something else. But you guys, we I need to have me like a little outro, a little outro thing. But we're going to get ready to get out of here unless y'all got some questions. We're going to kick it. Oh. Knocking Aretha Franklin while I clean the car. Uh, Looking at Shorty in them yoga pants. Oh my lord. About to hit this day party, check the flyer. After I spray the black magic on the tires. Damn, I love the sum of these sisters and sundresses. Oh, looking heavenly, I give thanks. She's such a blessing. The sun is shining. The birds chirping. You got rock sandals. The fluffy. The weather's perfect and the sun. The days get longer, outfits get shorter. We got a blunt. The streets getting hot. Pop the hydrant for the water. South Park in the building. Oh, my God. Kicks on the power line. Let's go. Make sure y'all get 
give your boy some likes, press that like button, if you're not subscribed, press the subscribe button, get the likes up, on my camera, Kevin Samuels, get the likes up. I appreciate y'all, y'all came in and kicked it late with us. For the mansion with the Hummer outside But my vision is bigger than the clothes in the car So my vision is different like Jordan LaForge Can't wait to sign the autographs when the fans run up So I'm making big plans for the summer The days get longer, outfits get shorter Streets getting hot, pop the hydrant for the water In the summer, throw the old kicks on the power line In the summer, cop the fresh kicks, these are out of sight In the summer, watch the whip, then you know it's shower time summer Hit the day party, it's a thousand dimes Dreaming of the summer Cruising on the city Yeah, I'm dreaming of the summer Dreaming of the summer Brunch with the wife here at the park Grown man shit Kiss her forehead, she say I'm so romantic Summer nights popping We could paint the town any night Elbow out the window while I cruise under city lights Like Africans compared to Greeks, the gods Rilla I rumble with the lions, arm wrestle with Godzilla it's rock stages. I'm dreaming of the summer. If you think you're number one, trust me, I'm scheming on your number. Uh. The days get longer, outfits get shorter. Streets getting hot, pop the high.